Uh oh. Uh yeah. I've I've never even thought about like the Joker PT matchup. I don't know. I feel like Ivy Saw and Charizard have an incredibly bad time and Squirtle just can't keep up at high percents. Yeah. Like what's an Ivy Saw gonna do? It. Like up air you, sure. It. But um he's pretty fast. Well we'll see what he can do here. At least Squirtle's pretty tiny. Okay. Nice. The Whirlpool. See, now this is what you want, right? Getting the dash attack and 43. That's the confident call that we love here at Vicar. <laughs> the Sunshine Smash Corvid. Let's go. The upbeat. There we go. Kill the Arsene online. Well, here's, uh, and guns. Here's Shadow Boy. To ruin, ruin the matchup that you thought was going completely fine. Yeah. Um, well, that's the thing. I guess if uh, Squirtle gets the lead, he doesn't really need to swap off, does he? Like, he's staying no, at 20. Like, the character is so good at everything. It's legit just that... Oh, and hey, I yeah, see, I that's the kind of shit you don't want to be doing against <laughs> Arsene. Because you will you will die. Yeah. Like, we've seen Jura hit some, some nutty, nutty shit. Stuff. I was about yeah. to get cancelled. We've seen him hit some nutty shit uh, today. Yeah, he's definitely... Uh, yeah. Not someone you want to sleep on or uh, be doing that kind of thing. Anyway, yeah, this is kind of what I'm on about. Like, the heavies, they're just kind of getting beaten around. They can't land. Like, Joker's too fast for them to just kind of float back. Especially, yeah. like, PT's heavies. The thing they're about, floating. Yeah, the thing about Joker as well is that he doesn't have much stuff that, like, Charizard can take advantage of. Like, oh, my God. Oh, what sad. pressure, though. That was good as... That was nice. Um, the thing that's probably annoying about for, for Charizard is that, like... You can't really punish anything with, like, up smash. Can't shield grab, can't, like... Well, because he's low profiles. With up smash. Huh? With up oh, no, smash. Joker like, kind of dashes around. Are you talking about Charizard up smash? What the hell are you saying? What are you yeah, saying? Yeah, Charizard up smash. Yeah. Yeah, because none of Joker's areas are, like, punishable. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you can't really move around Joker because uh, he will hit you. Like, he, Charizard died at 150. Like, pretty... You'd maybe uh, like to be get a bit... Uh, a bit further up yeah, than 150. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you're playing Charizard. Uh, just Shadow Boy back. Return. Yeah, look. Good thing avoiding these down airs. I was going to be big damage that Corvid just doesn't need. I mean, and this is what... Oh my okay, god. Okay, here we go. See I mean, you later. that's so easy. That, that's honestly so easy for Ivy Seal because... Like, it's big enough as it is, and it's actually, like, easy to hit on Joker because of the whole up yeah. the... Whatever it does, it's, like, easy to two-frame or whatever. Yeah, 100%. Corvid's definitely making this game one look his way. Like, he's playing pretty confidently, like, getting this damage. Yeah, I feel like the advantages that Joker have in this matchup, like, Corvid's not really letting him take advantage of. Yeah. Stuff like, um, so, Corvid takes the first stock and he's on 30%. It's like Joker Syndrome, right? Like, he's on 30% and then you kill Joker, and then Joker kills you, and he has Arsene for the whole next stock. Yeah. Um, but Corvid just played Getaway so good. And yeah, even so now he's not even really, thing. like, abuse the Arsene, you're right. Yeah, exactly. And, like, now it's gone. Corvid's going dead. to die, Corvid's but, dead. you know, he's at 80%, fresh stock. Well, not fresh yeah. stock, but... And there's no Arsene to be yeah, found. Exactly. So unless he's going to, like, parry Flare Blitz... What's it called, like, counter Flare Blitz? Yeah. I don't know how if we'll, if we'll see another one. Okay, he's no, dead. dead there we have it, game one, two, Corvid. Good yes, stuff. This guy's way too good. Jabbing and shit. You all did great. Let's go. I think they did. Yeah, I think they did. Uh, Charizard could have pulled his weight more, but I think Ivysaur you know. was the dead weight actually. Really? I feel like Ivysaur. Did we see Ivysaur? We get we're, like Ivysaur double down it. Themselves. Oh, the double down it. You're so smart. Man. Yeah. No, they all did great. They all I think did Charizard great. Did fine. I think I think you know PT was right. It's not to be they all did great, but it was just Squirtle carrying the team. Maybe, maybe that's some like five head shit that when they all do like the same amount of percent, he says they all did great. Mm. How crazy would that be? Maybe. I don't think so, that's but maybe. That's some that's some 2020 Game Award winning shit right there. <laughs> game of the Year is Smash, <laughs> Smash Ultimate because Smash Ultimate of because, uh, because, yeah. you all did great. <laughs> um, back to Battlefield. Interesting pick. I don't know. Just a personal thing. I never like going back to Game 1. Oh my god. Uh, it all pick. depends on comfort, right? Like, there, there are some people who just like... They just love Battlefield. They just love the, the stage, right? If they're going to give it to them, like, go ahead. Fair enough. Like, if it's, like, FD or something, of course I'm going to go back. Pikachu Diddy. Yeah, exactly. But, like, 
I don't know. I don't know how well Jericho does on Battlefield, actually. I take that all back. But for the most part, if I'm like PS2, I won't go back to PS2. Good delay. Yeah, gotta be careful. Gotta, gotta find a way to get Ivysaur off the ledge when you're trying to recover. As oh my goodness. Oh, yikes. This is. Oh, oh let's go. Yeah, that was a bit of a like. Oh no, what can Corbett do in this situation? Okay. No roll in, that's nice. The craziest part about Jura, that all these Wi-Fi Warriors, you tend to see it with Wi-Fi Warriors is that they, they have a hard time adapting. Um, well, like, they just kind of, like, have a really good flow They're sort of stuck in their it. ways, yeah, but Jura's actually just, like, crazy adaptation guy. Like, I played him on a Wi-Fi tournament. Sure. And I was like, oh, I'll just play, like, DK. Like, this guy's no idea what to do against DK, right? Like, yeah. Who knows what to play against DK? And I was like, oh, this guy's like learning. Like, it's like crazy. Like, he's adapted in like three games. And Adapting so in Smash? Yeah, it's so cringe, right? <laughs> we saw it him versus Deku as well. Like, he got two oh, stocks. Oh, man. Game yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Games two and game three it were like a wash. Actually, with like Deku. three stocked in game it was two. In, like, he like played the matchup. He adapted so well. So, he might not be the best in terms of just like straight up, like. Blue I cut. guess firepower is the way I want to put it. Like, mm -hmm. how good you are. But he actually just like. Is it that is like really good ad adaptation? Like. Yeah, and that's not something you see with the Wi-Fi Warriors, and that's really all they're missing. Kind of like some of these Wi-Fi Warriors are crazy, like tech skill. Yeah, but um, they have a hard time playing against people. Yeah, yeah. almost robotic. Like off offline is completely different to online as well. Like the way you adapt. Yeah. So I'm gonna guess that has this. Oh wow, that just died. Sent state to like one thirty. Straight up killed man. Wow. That's so crazy. See, but here's the thing. Probably for the first time, as like letting us end play. Oh, okay. that was good actually. I that was like going that. deep. That was nice. Yeah. And now they're back to even. Yeah, they're playing the nooch. Just a couple of couple of dudes playing uh, footsies. Love a bit of footsies. Okay. Trying to mix up the shield there. Wow, does that go Ooh. through the platform? Guns? I didn't think so, but it really looked like it went through the platform. Didn't yeah, it? I don't know if it like peeked through the gaps, but yeesh. Uh, you gotta be careful letting Jura play when he has our sand. Uh oh. And on Charizard, you could be in trouble. Okay, some big damage. He's got no our sand now. Yeah, I feel like something can just kind of happen and just Corvic can just kind of steal this game from you. You really hate to play this well and lose this game and be down 0-2. Oh, that was cute. Okay. All right, all right. Calm down, calm down, mate. Calm down. Okay, now he's in a bit of a bad spot. He's kind of lost that low percent that he can kind of beat. To be honest, I feel like Corvic's in the winning position as yeah. long as Arsene isn't back. But a lot of moves could bring Arsene back. Yeah, I don't know. Like, you have to play so clean against Charizard at this percent. Uh, there we go. The, ups, the scoop. Like, even in that scenario, right? There was no way Corva dies there if he misses that up scoop. Even if he gets S match, he gets anything. There's yeah, nothing that I guess. Him. I guess. That's a good point. I'll pay it out. So but it was, like, it was like one of those situations where Corva had such a strong lead, and then Duro was just kind of chipping and chipping and chipping. And then, like, you know, if he did get that F smash, suddenly. In 10 seconds, our sends back online, and now you're at 110. We've seen Charizard just die to back air, and now it's an iffy situation. But that being said, you know, Up Smash claims it, and we're going into game three. So, once again, kind of similar to uh, the stage. The stage, well, where did we go again? Battlefield. With the, with the yeah. stage selection. Um, so everything we talked about at the start of game two is going right out the window. Yeah. Because uh, obviously it doesn't feel. Well, it's Corvid's counter pick now. Oh no, it's not. It's Duras. No, My it's bad. Still, still You're right. I've cooked it. Well, you know, you got to make something up. Why not a stage? Arsene. Really haven't seen much from the Arsene. Oh my god. So Corvid loves those S-Smashes on the ledge. It, he can pay for it. You know what? The iron. Okay. <laughs> that was that was a very 
very interesting. I guess he's completely fine with the eyeing in if he has. I mean, even then, right? You can, you can read the Pokemon swap. Yeah. Okay. Jesus, he nearly died at seventy. My God, man. I remember the first time I played Jura back, like before quarantine. Sure. This this fucking guy F smashed my Fox side B like on the ledge. Wow. I've never even played against Jura. This is the first time I've ever seen him play was today. Mm. Back throw. Up throw. This feels more confident in juggling than ledge shuffling, but Cork managed to get right back down. Nice. Okay. The up smash. Just grabbing the landing aerial. Ivy saw no way he's gonna. Okay, fair enough. Oh no, he's no, killed he's himself. Fine? Yikes. Dunzo. Bit too deep for that one. Now you'd really hate to lose this one if you were Jura with the 3 0. <laughs> yeah, fair. Right. Well, Corbett hasn't really had to approach with such a deficit before, so. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Corbett gets his weird power up whenever he SDs. He just like plays better. Does he? Yeah. No. Maybe that's just a me thing, though. But look at him go, look at these up airs. Going back to what we were saying about the guns, the bullets definitely stopped on that platform. Let's see if Arsene gets to play. I guess Arsene versus Squirtle would be so annoying. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you look at. Ah, uh, uh, the dash attack. Oh my god, damn. Some special Bowser pivot right <laughs> there. Okay, the jump from ledge, can't a do that, I guess. suspect option, yeah, I'm not I, sure about that one. Look, I'm, I, if I was Jura, I wouldn't have expected that to land either, but sure. Oh my goodness. Yeehaw? Yeehaw. I missed that guy. Yeah, <laughs> give him back. No when, when the whole venue just goes like, yeehaw! Oh, no way, you hate to see it, man! <laughs> Wow, you ever just died Zero to Ivy Slow down here? Yeah, yeah. Using a double jump off stage, trying to. I mean, you were so far ahead, there was really no reason to go for it, but. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Maybe bro. you wanted to go home, I'm not sure. Yikes. Well, 